What's up y'all, it's poppin'. So a lot of you have asked for my skincare routine, so finally getting around to getting it up for you guys. I wanna be very clear though in stating that this routine has been individualized to me. This is a routine that I have built up from the bottom with my dermatologist that I've been going to for over five years. My skin was horrible when I first started going to her. I have very problematic skin. I do not naturally have nice skin at all. I worked very hard to get this skin. I wanna be clear in stating that, that we built up this routine based on my very specific type of skin. A lot of people will just try to copy paste other people's routine and think that's gonna work. It's not. <laughs> your best bet is to find a dermatologist and have them assess your skin in person and they can go over a routine that is individualized to you. If you just try to copy these same products and try to do exactly what I'm doing, you might wake up with your, with your face, with your face on your pillow, okay? Your face might melt off. What's the, uh, the nigga from Batman who had the one face going? That's gonna be you, all right, if you try to copy this routine. So I'm telling you right now, don't do that, <laughs> all right? My skin has, built up a tolerance to all of these products at once. If you try to do the same thing, you I promise you're not gonna have the same results because I use a lot of, of uh, products with active ingredients in them. And also, you know, online, you'll see in comments, you know, everybody will try to give you all of this advice about what you should and shouldn't be doing. You wanna tune all of that out. Skincare is very controversial and there are people who have different opinions about it. You will have some doctors who think this way and a whole bunch of other doctors who have different opinions. So it's just a lot of noise so again, go to a dermatologist, have them look at your skin and, and trust them and, and work with, with them on, on your skin, all right? Don't listen to people in the comments because everybody's an expert and everybody, oh, you shouldn't be using this product with that product and this is bad for your skin. They don't know what they're talking about. Just too many people out. Everybody's so intelligent, so smart. They all graduated from Google University and they have all the answers. No. <laughs> go to a dermatologist. Okay, disclaimer out the way, let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the cleanser. I use the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash, 10% benzoyl peroxide, the big dog, okay? I massage this into my skin for two minutes straight. I usually do this in the shower, so I estimate, but I make sure I'm really working this product into my skin. In the past, I would wash my face real quick, not realizing I wasn't giving the product enough time to do its job. Uh, so my doctor recommended this and it's been a game changer. So I do this until it's basically completely absorbed into my skin and then I rinse it off. Next, I use this scrub to exfoliate. Controversial, I use this scrub almost every day. It's not super rough, but it's not mild either. <laughs> To be honest, this does keep my skin looking slightly pinkish red, but I feel like it really helps keep my skin smooth, so I'm cool with that trade-off. So I use it daily. I'll give my skin a break every once in a while, but I do use it on most days. Got water dripping everywhere, girl. <laughs> Rinse that off and I pat my face dry with a paper towel. Unless you're using a freshly washed face towel, it can harbor a lot of bacteria and be breaking your skin out. So I just use paper towels to avoid that. Next, I use this retinol. It's a common misconception that you can only use retinol at night. This is completely false. As long as it's not a super strong retinol and you use sunscreen, you're fine. After 30 minutes, I apply my vitamin C serum. I feel like this serum has improved the overall texture of my skin, but maybe I'm lying to myself to justify the cost. I can't really say, to be honest. This is why I hate trying new skincare products, not gonna lie. But I've been using this for like the past couple months, and now I'm stuck. I got influenced by an influencer. Don't be like me, all right? <laughs> but I just pat this into my skin. This is a newer addition. Okay, so now for my nighttime skincare routine. I actually recorded myself demonstrating my nighttime routine in my bathroom at night, but the lighting is horrible in there. It looks really bad. So I'm gonna just tell y'all what I do and show y'all the products. Y'all know how to put on products. So um, the first thing I do is use the acne foaming wash once again, and this time I time it. So I use my phone's timer and make sure that I am working this in my skin for a full two minutes. When I use this during the day when I'm in the shower, I just estimate the time, but at night I make sure I get my two minutes in. After that, I then use my mask. This is the Zo Skin Health uh, Complexion Clearing Mask. I love this mask. I use it every other night, like clockwork. Whenever I skip a day, 
I feel like I wake up with a zit. So this mask really does something, okay? I'm, I feel like it makes a big difference. And the consistency is kind of like a sulfur mask. So this, you might be able to find something cheaper, to be honest, that works just as well. I might be getting jipped, who knows? But it works, so I'm gonna just keep using it. I'm not gonna try to search for something cheaper when that's already working really well for me. And after that, I then use uh, these acne control pads. This is professional strength, okay? It has 10% glycolic acid in it. I used to use this ordinary toner uh, with glycolic acid, and this one is very popular. A lot of people use it, but this one only has 7% glycolic acid. These pads have 10%. So the, the strength is strengthening, okay? <laughs> and then it has 2% of salicylic acid and like some other ingredients. So these are no joke. Again, professional strength. Again, talk to your doctor. My doctor approved me to use these. Um, when I first started using them, they were burning my face. I was like, uh, something seems like it's going wrong because <laughs> they was burning. But you know, I got used to them and my skin star flourishing. So I let it dry completely and then afterwards I go in with my lotion that has been prescribed to me, once again, by my doctor, <laughs> okay? And I use the lotion that has uh, tritinoin in it. It has 0.05% tritinoin. And that's a pretty high dosage. Um, when I first started using tritinoin, I was at 0.01%, so I've gone up over the years, like gradually, and I'm sure that that plays a huge role in, in my skin um, being clear, is using that on a nightly basis, every single night. I've been using it for years at this point. So um, yes, Trenoin is that girl. Definitely look into it if you're not familiar, um, but it has made a substantial difference in my skin. And as far as like moisturizers and SPF, I use Neutrogena Hydro Boost at the moment but honestly use whatever <laughs> i don't think the brand of moisturizer and spf that you use is really that relevant to be honest um as long as the moisturizers that you're using is uh adequately moisturizing your face and the spf is like a 50 around 50 and it's not leaving a white cast then you're good to go like i've tried many different brands and none of them have ever like made or, or broke my my routine at all so i don't think that's that important to be honest uh but yeah these are all the products that i use when i first started going to my doctor it was a very minimal approach that she took um and we were using very few products i was annoyed like girl this ain't this ain't doing shit like come on what is this all we're gonna use but she's just like okay we're gonna start here and, and see how your skin reacts and then we're gonna add on over time if need be and that's what we did so i know that some people are able to use minimal products and their skin flourishes and i love that for you amazing not everybody can get away with that <laughs> i am one of those people i have really acne prone skin i also suffer from eczema and hyperpigmentation i will show you guys a photo of what my skin looked like prior to me like religiously doing this routine my skin was bad the mark on the side of my face that you guys see that's from an eczema flare-up that healed and turned into hyperpigmentation so i'm always getting these marks around my temple around my mouth my knuckles my neck even some time running parts of my body like my skin hates me okay <laughs> i have a lot of issues with my skin so that is why i personally need all of these products you may not need all of these products your acne might not be as severe or you may not have eczema or hyperpigmentation so you know some of these products might not even be necessary so that's what i said is it's not a good idea to copy paste somebody else's routine because you guys are suffering from different issues and you have different types of skin also i don't have sensitive skin at all i know a lot of people do my skin can handle a lot and that's something that i determined with going to my doctor she's like oh this interaction is fine okay then we can do this we can use this a lot of the time when you look on a uh, dr google um they will tell you not to use certain uh active ingredients together because they'll say oh this may cause extreme irritation this may cause dryness this may cause this this and that it's a lot of vague language because just skincare is not a one-size-fits-all and a lot of doctors will try to veer on the side of caution and advise against you using certain products together because they're saying it's a possibility that it could go bad you feel me so that's why you need to talk to a doctor in, in real life 
because that doctor can, you know, experiment with, with different products on your skin and then determine that it's okay for you. Because that's also something that you'll see uh, when you're Googling different shit and interactions and stuff. They'll say that, oh, but this may be, this interaction may be recommended by your doctor. Like basically they'll say like, if your doctor say it's fine, then it's fine. But they may say, oh, but we don't advise you to do that. But again, it's, it's just not a one size fits all. So your best bet is to talk to someone. And lastly, I want to share with you guys a couple tips that really helped keep my skin clear um, that I had to learn over time. The first thing is being extremely consistent. You cannot do your routine when you feel like it. You can't even do it 80% of the time. You have to do your routine 100% of the time. If you're not doing it every single day, day and night, you're not serious about having clear skin. <laughs> you, you don't want glass skin, all right? You can never miss your routine. It, it's, it's not an option for me to miss my routine. I don't care if I get home late, it's four o'clock in the morning, if I stumble in drunk, I can barely stand up, I'm gonna do my nighttime skincare routine. I'm never gonna sleep with makeup on ever. First off, it feels gross. And, and second of all, I'm gonna wake up with all type of zits. It's just not a good idea ever. So always do your daytime and your nighttime routine every single day without fail all right i don't care if somebody die or what that's a little more of it sorry but <laughs> no matter what's going on in your life you're sad depressed it don't matter do your routine day and night day and night every day consistency the next tip you have to be patient a lot of the time these products will take a while to work like several weeks sometimes even a couple months okay i've used some products and i didn't notice the positive change for like a month and a half two months so you really have to be patient and be consistent and keep using them in order to see the results and lastly and i feel like this is super important never implement multiple new products into your routine at once i've definitely made this mistake in the past horrible idea if your skin starts freaking out and breaking out and you get a rash or allergic reaction or whatever the case you won't know what products are causing that bad reaction or on the flip side if your skin starts flourishing and doing really well you won't know what specific products are causing that positive change and which ones to keep repurchasing you know what I mean? So it's never a good idea to just completely start over and you got new lotion, new face wash, and new mask, and new this and that because it's like, okay, well, if, if you have bad breakouts, then what, what's causing the breakout? <laughs> you, you, you don't know, you know? So I definitely think you should incorporate like one product in your routine at a time and see how your skin responds over time and then go from there. So. Those are all of my tips, all of my recommendations over everything. Go see a doctor, go talk to someone who is a professional who can assess your skin and tell you what you should be doing. I'm not no damn doctor. I don't have all the answers. I'm not saying do what I do. I'm, I'm actually saying don't do what I do. Uh, but if you want you know, some ideas maybe of some products to maybe try out here and there, one at a time, then you know this may be a good resource. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this vid and yeah, I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.